Hey guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video. Now today I'm going to be talking about 20 different types of Fortnite players. And this this goes for about everyone, and sorry this is a bit laggy, I'm watching this in replay mode. Um, so sorry if the gameplay that you see in the background is a bit laggy. Um, that's the reason why. And, but, to so before we get into this video, I do want to mention, um, I haven't really talked about this before, is that at um, 1,000 subscribers, I am going to be giving away um, a skin. I don't know which skin I am, I'm going to be giving away because I don't know what's going to be in the item shop. Um, but I'm just going to be giving away a skin to one of my subscribers. So if you want to get gifted that skin, make sure to leave um, either your epic or just add me, add me already. Um, if you want to see my epic, this is my gamer tag right there. If you add that, then I will add you back and I will, um, I will gift you a skin. So I will gift one of my subscribers a skin and yeah, that's about it. Um, I also want to mention to go a shout out to Shrek Dodo and Diamond Sway. And I also give out sh shout out contests for every 100 subscribers. So at 900 subscribers, there's a chance that you can get a shout out as well. And make sure you go check out my Twitch channel and my Discord. If you want to check out my Discord, you can be in one of my streams possibly. All right. So the first type of Fortnite player, I'm sorry, this is super laggy. I don't know why. Um, so the first type of Fortnite player is um the type that um basically they are the one that say do something or you get kicked and a lot of times they aren't bluffing about this so it is sort of annoying and these people i've had makai do this and i've had a few people do this mostly makai but He's not super toxic all the time, he just does it occasionally, and I'm fine with it. It's kind of funny to, in my opinion, so I'm fine with it. But some people do this and it can be really annoying. I don't even know where my character is right now. Oh, well, we're just going to fly around until we find them. Alright, this works for now. So, the next type of player is the memer. So, a big example of this would be um, Laserbeam, for example. Uh, if you know, he does lots of memes. And I do occasional memes, not as much in my videos, but I do them a lot. Just playing around with my friends or playing um, in um, maybe my live streams, I do it. And, yeah. So the next type of player that we have is the one that always says they're lagging even though they're not. And a lot of streamers do this. I see a lot of big streamers doing this. Um, they say they have like 60 ping, which is worse than usual. But I mean, it's not terrible ping. Like I've had 900 ping before. So I think if you're going to say you're lagging, you better have 100 over it. And yeah, if you have 100 over, then you can say you're lagging. Um, but if you don't, I think you shouldn't be able to say you're lagging. I'm just fast forwarding through that, so then I can do that. All right. So the next, the next type of player that we have is the one that always rage quits after they die. Um, this is, happens a lot of times in creative. So I know Makai is known for doing this. Makai is actually one of the biggest people that I know that does this. Um, no disrespect to him, but he does do this a lot. So, I mean, it's kind of on him for doing that. But, um, yeah. So, um, another person that we have is the team leader. Now, the team leader is usually the best person at the game. Um, whether they have, like, the best knowledge of the game, or they're really just the highest tier and know what they're doing in the game. Um... And yeah, so that's, so I really don't have a friend that likes to be the team leader because we're all kind of go our separate ways, which isn't the best, but I have had some people, and also the team leader a lot of times chooses where they're going to land. I do choose where we're going to land a lot, but that's just because when I'm streaming, I like to choose where I land. Um, I don't know why, because uh, sometimes people just don't choose where, where I land when I play with a lot of my, um, a lot of my subscribers, but that's just me. 
All right. And then the next one is, we're gonna call it kind of like, um, I don't really know. I guess we can call it like a coach. Like when they die and they're spectating you, they always tell you what to do. They're kind of like a backseat driver in a way. And they, and if they and if they died already, they say grab my card, grab my card. And I can understand why they're saying grab my card, but a lot of times this can be super annoying. And I don't have too many friends that do this. Occasionally it happens. I mean, sometimes you just it's your instinct to try to help them out. But sometimes it can be really annoying. Sometimes you just want them to be quiet so you can focus more on the gameplay instead of what your your friend has to say about what you're doing. All right. The next one that we have is the team medic. I believe this one goes for me a lot, um, just because I usually have a ton of med kits, a ton of um, minis, a ton of shield potions, a ton of everything most of the time. I don't know why, I just always have, I just felt like I need them or else my team will die. Um, but yeah, if you, you guys let me know down which one you guys are, um, if you have any more, just let me know as well, but I'm gonna keep going, we're not done. Alright, the next one that we have is the anti-builders. These are the ones that take down their builds instead of, instead of building themselves. Makai is non known for doing this in creative, and I'm sometimes known for doing this, but not all the time. Um, so it's not like I'm terrible at doing it. I just do it occasionally and sometimes I don't even mean to do it on a purpose But I will try to I will try to build battle people just to get that experience And I think the anti-builders can be really annoying sometimes But to be honest it tend it kind of is a strategy. I mean they are killing people a lot of times So I mean is it not a strat? All right, the next one that we have is the XP farmers. We're gonna call them XP farmers because they'll do anything in a game to get XP. They'll go after XP coins that they find halfway across the map. They will look up where the XP coins are. They'll open every chest instead of breaking it down if it's on something. Um, they will open everything, even if they're not grabbing it. They just want XP as fast as possible to get to that level 100, which I understand to getting a level 100, but sometimes they go over level 100 and they just try to get all the XP really fast. I know a lot of people do do this just because you can get all your skins gold if you had the battle pass, but a lot of times I just think it's a little bit unnecessary because some people go to the extreme with this, but I mean, I don't really care about XP as much. I just try to get XP by just doing regular gameplay. All right, then we have the people that say, you're hacking. Now, this happens a lot in creative. It's really funny when people do this. Um, Jaden does this a couple times, um, AKA Diamond's Way. Um, he is known for doing this a little bit, but he's not terrible about it. It's just sometimes you find people in normal games and they say they're hacking. And you only rarely come across people that actually are hacking because Epic is pretty good about not m making people hack or having an anti-hacking system. Which, so there's not too many actual hackers, they just have a lot of people that think people are hacking. And we're gonna speed this up just a little bit, because I do believe I'm just standing here. But I also think, I can't get up here, like, when during this, um, but also, we also have the loot goblin, or just the loot snatcher. Um, so basically, they will go and try to take the best loot, and or they'll take your loot. And this is honestly one of the most toxic people in the game. Makai does this sometimes if there's good loot, and sometimes he'll give you. It just depends on the day he's having, but he is known for doing this a lot. Um, no hate on him, because it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, there's loot goblins can be pretty toxic. And then this one also has to go with the troller. The troller is kind of like that, but they just... Oh, what the heck did you hear? That that impulse grenade sound like a bomb. Alright, but they will accidentally, quote-unquote, steal your loot a lot of times. Um, they will let go of the, the revive button at the last seconds. It's just really annoying. And sometimes, it's just, it's just annoying overall. And... I just don't like playing with people like this, but I don't have too many people that do this. 
um, they usually, when they steal your loot, they steal it on purpose, and they never do, like, the accidental let goes of those, the revive button. Um, and then there's this one, the one kid that says they knocked someone, or they got them to 30 whites, or they're, like, really low, and they tw they're one hit, or something like that. When in reality, they still have full shield and full health, and they just... It's, they haven't got anywhere with the guy and you think that he's low or they're knocked but they're really not and they're still there which is really annoying but I mean it happens and sometimes they do think they knocked him but I feel like sometimes it's easy to tell if you knocked him or not but yeah all right and then we got the person the kill stealer um I have been known for doing this in my past. I've got, I think I've got a little bit better at doing it. I'm not sure if I have, but I believe I have got a little bit better. I don't really know. Um, I, I don't do it as much. I don't intentionally do it ever. Um, but yeah, it just sometimes happens on accident. But I mean, a kill is a kill, and it really just goes to your profile, and it gives you XP. And really, the win is more important than the kill, in my opinion. All right, and then the I see Makai and Jaden doing this all the time. They always want the action. They try to rush every single person that they see. They want to fight everyone. They want to build battle everyone. I think Jaden's really bad at this. I feel like Makai, Makai, what he does is that he really just. He just starts shooting at people like if I tell him not to shoot at someone he'll start shooting automatically and I'm like please stop We just need to we need to make a top 10 and then we can start shooting at people And then he just continues to shoot on pe shoot people and then Jaden sometimes just goes his own way And it's like if he sees someone he just wants to build battle them automatically and it's just really annoying and I just wish if you if you see a fight and you want to engage let your team know before you go off and do something and make sure your team agrees all right, this next one is called the master of the AFK. Um, I say this because these are the people that always leave the game without telling you sometimes, or they're just like really just being toxic about it and just leave no matter what. Um, sometimes it's not their fault. I've left games, but I've usually told people about that I'm going to leave the game. Um, but I'm pretty good. I usually finish the game before I leave a lot of times. All right, and then we have the one that has a broken mic, broken mic, and they sound really bad, or they're just blasting like horrible music, or even if it's good music, it's still really annoying, especially for content creators. They want to get that content out, but they can't have that on YouTube, so it's just really annoying, especially if a bad mic as well. No one wants to hear a bad mic in game. No one does. It just if you have a good, if you have a bad mic. Might as well not have it on in the first place. Like, you don't even need that much money to get, like, a decent mic. Like, honestly, the one that comes with the PS4, with the PS4 controller, isn't even that bad. It sounds actually fairly decent. So that one is an option as well. Alright. This one I said before, but, like, they're kind of more toxic about it. It's, more, it's a more toxic version of the coach. They always, like... They always tell you what to do, even though they're the one that's dead themselves. Like, how are you gonna, how are you gonna coach someone if you're the one that died in the first place, or if you're the one that continues dying? Sometimes you can't. Like, if you're like, you got four v ones. I understand that, but sometimes they're just really toxic about it. I like to call this one the backseat ninja. All right, and then we have the most. The one that we all love, the one that we all know, the one that we sometimes make fun of, but, you know, it's all fun and games at the end of the day. Um, this one we like to call the default. We all know the defaults. We might have some defaults watching this. There's no hate on defaults. We love default here. defaults here. I was once a default. You were once a default. We were all once defaults. But they're funny to meme, and it's just funny. And that's about it for the, for the things that I have going on. For this video the the 20 types of people in fortnite um we do also of course have the sweats but i don't think i had to add those because I, I don't even think i want to mention the name sweat because we just don't want it we just don't want to hear it because we encounter them in our everyday lives 
and we really don't want to hear it. And yes, I do get past this part. We're going to try to speed it up to show you that I do pass this part. I think this is on times four. This is really laggy. Oh, that sounds super weird. Yeah, I do pass this part. Just wait. I think I pass it here. Yeah, this is the one, I believe. Yep, it lagged, but I did pass it. Just for you guys that are getting like, is this dude gonna finally pass this level? Yes, I did. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go check out my other content. And also, if you want to have a chance to enter into my giveaway for a free skin in Fortnite, just remember to add me on Epic. My username is right there, MrMonkeyZZ04. So I'll be I'll be gifting one of my subscribers um, a gift or someone that has me added. And also, let me know that you have added me, so I can tell you tell which one. And if you want to add, put your put your gamer tag down in the description as well. All right, guys. I hope you know this video. And also, I forgot to mention it. Make sure to go check out Shrek Dodo, Diamond Sway, my Twitch channel, and my Discord server. All four will be linked in the description, along with that kid Okai. Um, that is Makai's TikTok channel. Um, he doesn't really need much of a shout out since he has 40k on there. But if you guys want to go check it out and see what he does on there, you can feel free to. All right, we're gonna pause it there. And that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if I missed any, just let me know down in the comments. Until next time, bye.